Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you're all up for an experiment uh, today because I want to do something that I have never done before. I have an idea, but you know more than I do because you've seen the thumbnail. So uh, does it look pretty? I hope so. I <laughs> hope so. Let me tell you what I want to do today. Before I start with my plan today, I want to give a warm welcome to all my new viewers. Some of you have already subscribed. Thank you. Let me introduce myself. My name is Margaret. I am from the Netherlands. I do paper crafting, junk journaling, experimenting, sometimes treasure hunting. Uh, so nice of you to join me today. Um, if you have any questions, you can leave it in the comments or email me. And if you, uh, you know, you like the videos, give it a like. And uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe. So, yeah, shameless plug. Let's get started with my plan for today. I buy a lot of old books and magazines that are like bound together. And when I take them apart, I am left with these beauties. I really like them. They are covers, old ones. Uh, not very interesting. Well, this one has the title of the magazine on it. But I love them. They're old and grungy and, you know why waste them so i want to make something with these covers and then my friend leonie gifted me this box with leather belts well they're clasps or belt buckles or how you want to call them um she has a whole bunch of these and she sells these on her instagram i will leave the link to her instagram shop below if you have any questions you can always ask they are real leather i love them so i want to use this and the covers to make some sort of folio journal i don't know it's an experiment but i want to make something gorgeous with this so let me show you sort of the idea that i want to make i've chosen this cover it is burgundy with black is some sort of marbled print on it i love the or very old dirty book binding on here i just love it and then this buckle let's call it a buckle I'm, i don't know what to call it um corresponds really well with this one yeah so when you make a journal normally uh you will have it a portrait i guess yes portrait open it up like so and then these are the pages i want to be want this to be landscape so when you open it up you open it up like so yes and then inside i think it's going to be a, an ephemera holder folio journal yeah not you know not complicated at all no so i want to use um this envelope i have a bunch of these envelopes i bought them not to send stuff in but i really love the color of the paper um these are not vintage or old i bought these at kick k-i-k it is a for me a new sort of a a store that is all over Europe. Well, they claim to be all over Europe. And they sell these. They sell a lot of... It's like an action or a Dollar Tree. Yeah, so I want to use these envelopes. Fold them. So you have a pocket here. I'm going to open this up to have a pocket there. And then have some sort of a signature inside. So I will have four or five of these sort of signatures. And then put them in here. Yeah. So you can open it up. And then flipped through your, uh, well, ephemera holders, journal folio thingy. I think it's going to be great. But honestly, never made anything like this. So wish me luck. Normally, I would tell you what supplies we'll be using. But I have no clue. I have an, an idea, but that might change at any moment. So pay attention. Um, what I want to do is attach this buckle on here. Yes, and not have it open and close all the time. It's going to be a little bit decorative. But the closure is going to be... Uh, I have this some sort of trim or cotton band or seam binding or whatever. It is with the red color, so I really like it. But um, that's for a little bit later. I want to attach this buckle thingy to my cover. So I did some experimenting beforehand, before I started it, because I didn't want to be disappointed. Um, I needed to make holes in the strap over here and then holes in the cover. And I really needed to know if my crocodile could do that. My crocodile didn't, but my big bite did. So I made holes. Let me uh, quickly sort of demonstrate how I did that. Positioned it where I wanted it to be. Yeah, I punched the holes first in the in the buckle put it on there 
put a white marker inside so I knew where to cut these holes and then I cut these holes out. So yes, it worked. I think a normal crocodile uh, would do that as well. But it doesn't have an opening that goes all the way over here. So that's why I tried with my big bite. I'm going to attach these with these big brats. I have very large brats. I found these. These are, these are vintage, I guess. I think a normal brat would work as well. As long as it has long legs. Does that make any sense? Yeah. So what I want to do is attach these to the journal first. And I've tried it, so I know it I know it works. This was the only thing I was really, really uh, worried about if it would work or not. But it does, it does. So, yep. So they go through. Now what I want to do is put the sort of trim. I keep forgetting this word. Through here. Yes. And then all the way to the back. Through here again. And then you will sort of attach it on the back with a bow or something. But that we will figure that out. I think that'll work. I've done something similar to that earlier. Yeah, so this is on here now. On the other side, we need to put the legs down. Putting the legs down. There you go. And I want to sort of uh, tape these down. I have this paper tape. I think I want to use paper tape for this. Because it tears easily. I'm just taping these down for now. So they won't stick out. We are going to cover the, uh, these two bits. Yep. This was a very sort of plain one. I have a couple of these um, covers that have really, really nice sort of inside papers. It has a name. I cannot, I cannot come up with that name. There. The, the cover is intact, but it's a little bit damaged here. So what I want to do, I do not want to put the tape all the way to the end because I really love uh, to, the look of this. But I just want to reinforce it. I'm sorry, that is a lot of noise. Reinforce it a little bit. So what I want to do is put the tape here. Just to, you know, reinforce it a little bit. Be sure you get it into the fold here. You won't see this because it will be covered. And then also on the other side. Because this is a little bit loose, see? It is damaged. That I did that when I took out the probably the magazines that were in here. Doesn't matter if it's a little bit wrinkly, because again we are going to cover it. I do however to want this to go into the crease really, really well. There you go because the outside was already really good so what i want to do is um cover this with paper i've already picked out the paper i want to use this this is just scrapbook paper isn't that lovely i love it so there's, there are going to be panels on here but, but before i do that i'm going to make some sort of a harmonica spine thingy where we can attach the envelopes to yeah so let's first do that I want to use a piece of cardstock for this. Uh, I have this sort of marbled one that goes really well with the envelopes. So I think I'm thinking about using this. But first I want to cut it to size. It needs to be a little bit smaller than the cover itself. So I'm just going to put a mark somewhere. No pencil inside, so I'm taking out a pen. Having it here and then here. Yep. So no real measuring. Isn't that lovely? I already love it. It's already very, very cute. Um, so I'm taking this piece off. And then I need um, a scoreboard. Because I want to fold this into a harmonica. Yeah. So now this is the length. 
So I want to make scores like so, so that, that we can make some sort of harmonica that we can attach to here and then uh, put the envelopes on there. It will make sense. It will make sense. So I'm taking out my scoreboard and I'm making some scores. Already figured this one out. I, I've been doing some folding this whole morning. Okay, what I want is the, the scores to be three quarters of an inch. Yeah, so I'm scoring at well, three quarters. Let's start there. I saw Julie this morning with a video. Hi, Julie. I love you. Um, where she said, well, the We Are Memory scoreboard, uh, We Are Memory Keeper scoreboard start here. Not all of them. They also start here. Yeah, it is very handy to start it over there. I agree with you there. So um, three quarters and three quarters is one and a half. I'm not that smart, guys. I've been doing some sort of measuring. So, uh, and then one and a uh, two and a quarter. Just add three quarters to it every time you make a score. Then we are at three. Then three and three quarters. Four and a half. I sound like a math wizard, but I don't. I'm not. I'm not. Five and a quarter. <laughs> I've been memorizing this. Six. It's not that hard. Six and three quarters. And uh, then seven and a half. We don't need the last bit, I guess, but let's see. So I made all these cords. So we're going to fold them like a harmonica. This is a bit harder than it looks. Um, because I do want them to be all straight. So I will burnish them very, very well. Yes, flipping it over. Trying to keep everything as straight as possible. This one's use. You can you use it to hold it, honey? No. And there you go. Flipping it over again. Trying to line it up as best as possible. You really need to burnish it very, very well. There you go. And so on until the end. I didn't need to fold the last one uh, because I just want to have four mountains. I'm going to call these mountains. See? One, two, three, four. Because I want to attach four envelopes to this. One, two, three, four. This piece is going to be glued down on the inside of the cover and this piece is going to be glued down to the inside of the cover if you if you are following along please be sure that these folds are very very strong if you don't fold them very very tightly very hard um they will be they won't look nice they will be like so and we don't want them we don't want them to be like real mountains okay so i'm um, hoping this will work this is going to be glued over here. So not on. I'm not going to glue them on the inside of the spine, but on the outside of the spine. So the spine will basically be free. Yeah. So this is going to be glued over here. Hopefully it will stay on. I'm going to use my um, art glitter glue for this. And then when this is dry, I'm going to glue this one over here. So then we'll have four mountains to put the envelopes on. Yeah. I'm starting with the smaller bit because I think that will be the trickiest one. I am, of course, using art glitter glue for this. I do not trust any other glue than this. And I'm really putting a lot on there. Maybe you could use double-sided tape. I am not taking that chance. I am trusting art for this. Yeah. There you go. Good. Now, please be sure to line it up. On both sides. Before I glue the other part down, I really want this to be stuck. So I'm letting it dry for a couple of seconds. Now for the other side. You could uh, cut this piece off. No worries. I just, you know. <laughs> the more paper I have to use, the easier it will be, I guess. Or maybe I'm wrong. Could be wrong, you know. But it is an experiment, after all. There you go. 
lots of glue. This is trickier because I have to line it up. Uh, hopefully this is straight. Let's see. It needs to be a little bit higher. I'm just turning it a little bit. Oh no, Art's like, no, no, I'm on here. This is it. Well, it'll have to do. Let's see if we close it. See? Looks like this. Yeah. Great. Now I want to cover these with my beautiful paper. These ones. Aren't these lovely? I think so. I've chosen two of the exact same ones. This is um, scrapbook paper. Yeah. Cheap ones from Action. But they're really lovely. So I, I do want to have this butt up against, against this mountain. <laughs> Go against the mountain. Uh, but leaving a little bit of an edge on the top. And of course on the other side. So I'm marking it here. Like so. And then I'm also marking it on the bottom. Like so. So I'm going to cut this and this. And then the same on the other side. So we have two panels. You guys are no help at all. No. You should have been screaming. Margaret. Landscape. Not portrait. Because we want to do it like this. So I would have rather had them. Like so. But you know. It is what it is. And it's still, it's still really, really beautiful. So yes. I made two of them. Inked all around them. And I'm going to glue them on. Um, again, using art for this. I'm going to use a lot of art glitter glue, I guess, for this project. So, supplies needed. Art glitter glue or something that glues really, really well. So, not um, just glue sticks, but have something that you trust. And I trust art. I trust art for this. There you go. So I'm going to do it like so, on the beautiful purplish paper. There you go. Don't dry on me, Art. Don't dry on me. I'm not ready yet. Well, hopefully this is enough glue. I really want some on the edges because I do not want this to pop up. Keep gluing over this edge. Okay. Be careful, this is art glitter glue, it's like when it's on, it's on, and it doesn't want to move ever again. So, here it is. Where's my glue spreader? Well, it's too late for a glue spreader now. <laughs> Art's already on. Oh, I could have used this. There you go. It will hold. I will do the other one off camera. I am really very sort of curious how the brads that are underneath will show through. If they do, I think I want to have a belly band on here. A belly band, hun. It's going to be a, a landscape. Okay, something other than a belly band then. Well, no need for a belly band because it really doesn't show up at all. I'm already in love with this. I think, uh, yeah... Hoping the rest will work just as well. So what I want to do is put in the envelopes and the signatures. But before I put them in, I want to decorate them and make them really, really pretty. Yeah. And then do the, do the closure as well. Maybe some more decorating on the cover. Probably will. Yeah. Let's start um, decorating these envelopes. Um, how many do I want? One, two, three. I believe it was four mountains. So I need another envelope. I have one here. Again, guys, if you don't have these sort of covers, but just book covers uh, and just normal plain white envelope, you can coffee dye them or make your own envelopes or do whatever. I'm just using the supplies that I have. 
I have decided to have the flaps on the outside of the sort of signature. So they won't be in the way. And there we go. Just folding them in half. So I have one, two, three, four. Yes. And then they will be attached, glued to one of the mountains. So one, two, three, and the last one, four. So they will be in here, like so. Oops. See? Oh, that looks so cool. And then signatures in the middle. I think it's going to be great. You can decorate the envelopes, of course, in any style you like. Uh, what I want to do is um, put something on the flaps so you can open them more easily. And I'm going to use my labels. Yes, these are the labels, the video you probably all saw because the whole world has seen that video. <laughs> I'm so proud of it. Um, yes, I've made these uh, beautiful labels and people keep asking me, what do you do with them? Well, use your imagination, use them as labels or in this case, use them as some sort of uh, tabs that you can use to open the envelope up or you can use them as real tabs in your signature. You can do anything with these. So I need four. Let's see. This is more... I want, it, I want it to be sort of vintage of course. Botanicals, a little bit too green. I can use this one as well. I'm just going to see which ones I really like. Oh, I do love these. I'm going to use one of these. This one. One with my beautiful queen. And this one. Or maybe one with a map. This is the same. Make up your mind, love. Yeah, this. These. I'm going to use these. Yep, so I'm going to glue them in the middle. And then not all the way to the bottom, of course, because I want this to be some sort of a flap. Some sort of a flap thingy. So yeah, I'm just using them up now. Glue. Are you okay? You have not been used this much in a, in a long time. Come out, come out. There you go. Yeah, I need to start using these up because um, I want to make more. <laughs> it's a very addictive. Yeah. And some of you have already tagged me in uh, in some Instagram posts or on uh, or on YouTube even. Yeah. Uh, Tanya made a, a video. I'm sorry, Tanya. I cannot um, uh, remember what your uh, YouTube um, channel is, but I will link it. Such a lovely lady. She made a bunch of these and she had so much fun. Yep. Dringend. Urgent. Okay. Ooh, I could use some of my stamps. Yeah. Definitely going to use those. Yes. Oh, speaking of the stamps, people uh, are asking me, do you still have stamps, uh, stamp sets left? Yes, I have two. There are two left. So that's not a lot. But these are the stamp sets with uh, five, five stamps, five different ones. And I cannot make sets with five different ones, but I can make sets with four different ones. They will be, of course, a little bit cheaper uh, than the five stamp set. And if, that, and if those are gone, I can still make some with three. Because I did not have equal amounts of uh, the stamps to make sets with. So, but if you're interested, please let me know. You can contact me on Instagram or here on YouTube. Um, or email me. They are lovely. They're so versatile. Yep. And the last one. What did I pick? This one. Every bottle sterilized. Okay. Okay. So they're already cute. So. There we go. Let's not forget that we also need to make a pocket here. Yes. So I need to open this up. What I want to do is just take a sliver off. And I'm going to use. You can use um, your paper cutter for this. I am using a ruler and a knife. 
just a very small amount. See? And we open up. We have another sort of big pocket here. I'm thinking, guys, I really want to do a lot of decorating on these envelopes, make it really, really pretty, but the video will be very, very long. Um, and normally I don't do this, but I think I will for this project. I will have a two-parter. Yes. Because it would be a shame just to say, and this is the end result. I made all the beautiful decorations without you guys, because um, I think you are like me. And I like the decorating part the most when I watch other pe person's videos. I'm really interested in how they make it. Yeah, because I watch that again and again and try to, you know, copy it. But if I want to do some relaxing crafting, I love to watch people decorate. So I'm thinking um, I want to make this into a two-parter. So that we can do a lot of decorating together. How does that sound? Well, hopefully it sounds okay because I have decided. So, now everything has um, two entrances, yes. Uh, a pocket with a flap and uh, a pocket like so. I think I will have some sort of indication that this is a pocket. Don't know what yet. Probably like a notch here or a tap on it. I haven't thought about it because I haven't thought about a lot of things, but it's looking good so far. What I want to do is make one signature in here. So we'll see uh, what's going to be on the inside of this. For the signatures, I've been thinking this is not going to be lovey dovey butterflies and flowers and such. Um, I think this is going to be like vintage office sort of style. Uh, I think that will work really well. So I took out all my sort of office papers that I have collected. I find these at thrift shops and such. I just find them very interesting. Uh, they're not really old. These are from 1986. But, you know, uh, it is that is considered vintage. So these are sorts of planner papers with numbers on them. Grid paper from... Uh, these are from companies. All the ones because they have like a fax number on them. Who uses that anyway? Um... You know, some interesting papers and I'm also going to um, add some real nice vintage ledger. Love this. Just love it. So I'm going to make signatures with these sorts of papers uh, that you can really write on if you want to really journal. And otherwise, there will be really nice backgrounds. So I want to have one of this. This is from my friend um, Jose. Jose is away at the moment. She has an Instagram shop. Uh, but she's going on a sort of a world trip. She'll be back in um, November. And I'll be sure to link her shop then. And she has such lovely things. Yes, this is sort of French ledger paper vintage. This is one of my own. Also really like this. This came from a book from a ship. Where the captain can... Hopefully I can rip this. Yes. Where the captain can sort of put down what he needs. I don't really know. See, some nice ledger paper with some green and yellow. What is this? Do we already have this one? No, really pretty. This are, these are sort of tax forms from years and years ago. Very vintage. -y. What else do we have? We have this. Don't know exactly, but I love it. Absolutely adore it. Do I already have this one? How many do we have? I adore them. They are really, really nice. What else? Let's have one of these. Yep. I think that's it. And I think we can just fold them in. And they will fit. Hopefully they will fit. I did not measure. But this is all sort of A4 size. Maybe a little bit bigger. And the envelope is also a little bit bigger than A4. So I'm guessing they will all fit in here. Already folded this one. Maybe I'll add some beautiful antique ledger paper to this. Will I? Will I? Yes. Yes, I will. My only, my only doubt is this piece. This piece of paper. If this is, isn't too big. 
but we'll find out soon enough and these ones are also a little bit taller let's see if i fold them in no it'll fit it will fit aren't these lovely just interesting i just like this when you go thrift shopping guys go to like the offer supply section i know most of the times it's boring oh these will just do but sometimes you find real gems there yep 10 pages in total they are a little bit different in uh, in size but that's okay i think i want to have this one in the middle because i love this color my um process is uh what's the first page i want to have this as the first one and what's the last one in the middle so i'm gonna have this on the front and then this in the middle and then everything in between and i do try to alternate a little bit between um the colors and such There we go. One of these. I have this one on the second page. This one over here. So interesting. And I hardly ever use them. This one is a little bit bigger than the rest. Maybe I should trim it a little bit. It does look interesting though. Let's see how it will look in an, in an envelope. This looks like a file folder, right? See, that's why I said ephemera holder, file folder, a junk journal. Yeah. No, I think this looks great. I don't mind. I, I ripped it a little bit, but you know, that gives it a little bit more character. So I like that. Yeah. And you can have uh, pockets on here and decoration anything really yes shall we sew in one signature to see how it looks i was thinking before i sew in the signature i really want to reinforce this a little bit yes because it's a lot of pages and uh, because I, and i haven't made this sort of accordion style journal before um i think i want to have a piece of washi on here I have this one that is a little bit over an inch, I guess. And it has some sort of office supplies on it. So, yeah. I thought, oh, why not? Just to reinforce it a little bit. Oh, that looks so cool. Doesn't it? I think it looks really cool. I think I'm going to love this one. Yes, I'm going to do the other side as well. Why not? We're here. Uh, I have no link for this. I bought this locally. If you are from the Netherlands, I bought this at Do A Ding. It is a craft shop uh, in Spijkenisse. It's where, near where I live. They sell art glitter glue. Yes. And other sorts of lovelies. Like this tape. And there's now also a little bit of decorating on it. Ooh, doesn't that look lovely? Wow. Maybe we could also put some tape uh, here. Hmm, don't know, don't know. First, let's focus on, on the signature, right? So I'm going to sew in the signature over here. I've positioned everything. It's going to be in the middle. Yep. Using big paper clips to hold all the pieces together. go i have a couple of video na videos now where i show how you sort of bind a journal it looks scary it is not it is really not especially when you're gonna have just one signature so you don't have to do any measuring this is my favorite way to make something because uh, you know don't really like measuring so i put the signature in like so a signature is just you know 
a collection of papers. I'm using my wax thread for this. Uh, I have a pokey tool. I'm going to poke three holes. You don't need a pokey tool if you don't have one. Some Just a big needle that will poke three holes. So I'm going to have this underneath. One in the middle. You can have five stitches in here. I'm just going to do three. That's my go-to. Don't have it flat. Have it at an angle. That's a tip. I'm guessing this is the middle. If not, then it still is the middle for me. Poking it through. Be sure that it comes out in the center and not um, off center. There you go. And then I'm going to have one on the bottom and one on the top. Uh, I am making sure not to put it here. I want to uh, have fit all the papers within the sewing, if that makes any sense. Yep. And then a little bit the same height here. Be very careful not to uh, poke yourself. <laughs> There you go. Oh, I love this with the tape. Sometimes I have brilliant ideas. Yeah. <laughs> a big needle. Uh, the measure of the thread that I am using is two and a half times the length of the pages. That's what I've been taught. So that's what I've been doing. Most of the times it's too long. So I think two times will do. You have to make a decision. Do you want the ends of the of the thread to be on the inside of the cover or on the outside? Yeah, I want these to be on the inside, so I start from the inside. Start in the middle. If you already know how to do this, I'm sorry, I'm I'm explaining it again because there are so many beginners, and this is um, one of the most asked questions. How do you bind a journal? It looks scary. It isn't. I'm going back here in the center, in the, in the top one. You can start at the top or the bottom. That doesn't matter. Start in the middle and then choose one. The bottom or the top. I have chosen the top. The lucky winner is the top. There you go. Put it through tight. Be sure to hold this. Yeah, see? And then do not go back in the middle. Big mistake. Go all the way to the other side. Put it through. If you don't have this wax thread, doesn't really matter. Try uh, embroidery floss or cotton or any ty type of sort of thread that is a little bit sturdier than normal thread. Yeah. Back in through the middle, and then have one piece of the end on one side of the center and one on the other side. Put it tightly. Not too tight that you will rip the paper, see, and then you tie a knot, a double knot. See, way too much. So I think two times will be enough. You can have them really long and have dangles on them. That's also really nice, but not on this journal. And we can take this off and voila, one signature. Bob's your uncle. This is how far we are now. I have four signatures. Yes, it's going to be a chunky monkey. <laughs> Absolutely. And to and um, tomorrow I want to glue them in. I want to glue them in between the mountains. So this one goes here. And this one goes here. One here. And the last one there. Hopefully it will sort of stay so I can show you. It will look a little bit like this. Yeah? Okay. So now we need to do the closure. So I have this piece of trim with the red stitching on it. I thought it would look really, really nice. I did not glue these on, so I can lift this up, pull it through. And then the longer piece I'm going to rip, rip all around the back. Have it straight, please. Yes. And then, again with this end, underneath, pull it through, have it straight, yes. And I left the, the ends really long, because maybe this journal wants to grow. 
wrapping it all around. There you go. And tying a bow. Here we are. Yes. Uh, I want to do a little bit of decorating on the on the cover. I've picked out these three labels. Again, my labels. And I was thinking to have this one over here. And then another one on the back. Yeah, I think so. So I have used up a lot of these labels. So I can make more. Just gonna have this one on here. And then no no, let's do this sort of over here. Should we do this one or this one? These guys, I think this one. This one, there's a little bit of red in here. There you go. There you go. Yep. I think that is it for today. Tomorrow I want to decorate all the um, uh, envelopes with you. And the signatures. Put, maybe put down some more pockets and such. I think I want to add something here. Don't know what yet. But I'm real happy how this turned out, right? Yeah. Guys, I hope you will join me again tomorrow. Thanks for hanging out with me for this sort of experiment. It's going well. It's going well. Again, um, these are available at Leonie's shop uh, on Instagram. I will link that one below. I will link um, Tanya's uh, YouTube channel below. I don't know. I cannot remember the name of the channel. I'm sorry, Tanya, but you're a wonderful, wonderful lady. Uh, what else will I link below? Well, my own shop. Because... Uh, maybe, maybe you'll find something myself. <laughs> Guys, I'll be back tomorrow. Thanks for hanging out with me today. See you then. Bye.